there is something so incredibly satisfying about a great woman versus nature film the best survival movies pare everything down to the most essential elements there are very few characters they have just their wits and some limited tools at their disposal and they only have one objective in mind to stay alive and yet with so few ingredients these movies are still able to get our heart rates up and give us a twinge of the existential terror that is the vastness of nature survival films are a study in how to do the most with the least and sometimes the characters don't even talk what they are surviving though varies and gives us a look at what we most truly fear mostly these movies involve staying alive through the harsh conditions of a vast wilderness sometimes a more aggressive threat is added in be it an untamed animal to remind us of our own beastly instincts perhaps or a human competing for the new resources available the unknown aka outer space also is a theme in many of them too the biggest threat in them though is the isolation and keeping spirits up and mind sharp in the face of vast challenges so check out these top 3 epic female survival movies and try to figure if you would have the chops to outlast their challenges so here is what we have in our list on number 3 i have the shallows which was released on 2016 this 2016 survival horror film stars Blake Lively as Nancy Adams a med school dropout who decides to surf off the coast of a beach in Mexico that her late mother once visited after paddling out to catch a final wave near the end of the day however Nancy's leg is bitten by a shark she must figure out how to get back to the show the shallows is a one woman show sure there are various other actors who show up from time to time but due to the very nature of the story in which her character is stranded in a giant dark ocean lively is forced to carry the movie on her own she does so with an authenticity that gives the unlikely circumstances believability she even brings warmth to a performance that traditionally shouldn't have any warmth after all this woman is being targeted by a killer shark she should be terrified and she is yet she remains human she shows compassion and she does this all while being a total bad ass i have a full review video on this epic loki survival thriller movie check that out on the i button on top right corner and on number 2 i have everly which was released on 2014 if you thought the tarantino Rodriguez Greenhouse Project was a bore prepare to have your trash buttons ground down further till by this slice of self-conscious gut wrenching thrill and horror Salma Hayek is the battered sex slave who must slice and dice her way through an array of stereotypically sadistic Japanese villains in order to save her daughter from a fate worse than appearing in the sequel Salma Hayek gamely puts herself through the mincer as knights of 
Bad Ashdom, director Joe Lynch splatters the screen with yucky gore and sub torture porn sleaze. Those with an adolescent nostalgia for video nasty era degradation and retribution may be mildly titillated, but Lynch has neither the wit nor desire to rise this above the level of Fox retro fanboy fantasy. One epic power packed survival action thriller which will sweat you off in horror. And finally, on number one, I have I Spit on Your Grave, which was released in 1978, but I am talking about the one released on 2010. A title like I Spit on Your Grave has a lot to live up to and visually horrendous. A 1978 rampage originally titled Day of the Woman. Mr. Jackie returns as an executive producer for Stephen Monroe's remake, which may be one reason that Stuart Morse's screenplay takes few liberties with the story. Those he does take, however, are a significant improvement. In 2010, once again, we meet Jennifer Hills, a calmly young writer renting a lonely cabin in the Louisiana backwoods. When a gang of Harry Palm locals, including a slow-witted plumber and a twisted sheriff, interrupts her first draft to indulge in an evening of rape and terrorization, Jennifer is uncowed. Faking her death, she somehow stays alive and returns to punish her attackers by ingeniously repurposing their recreational tools, including fish hooks, beer traps and garden shears. And all of them are rusty, sharp and ugly enough to imagine the torment sitting on the other side of the screen. This movie is strictly not for weak hearted kids or Weepy Weepies. This movie can wrench your gut up to your throat with an added shock to the core, so be careful. So my viewers, go watch the movies and tell me how were they. If you did, then share this video to those who love and give us a thumbs up as a motivation. See you round.